Hello and welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays with Pastor Kristen. Um, as you can probably tell, if you are not keeping your own liturgical calendar at home, uh, we are preparing to celebrate Pentecost Sunday this Sunday. And so uh, even though if you were in worship last Sunday, I told you you would have to wait and see what the surprise was on Sunday, um, you can see that over here, um, those of us who joined together at Intergenerational Sunday School a couple of weeks ago as we learned more about Pentecost and the Holy Spirit, uh, created some wind socks that will be a part of our worship on Sunday. Um, and you will have to see how that all comes together. So uh, I do encourage you to come um, maybe just a couple minutes early. Our prelude will be um, really meaningful and powerful on Sunday, and so hope that you will be here for that. Um, as we are preparing for Pentecost Sunday, of course, we're thinking about the Spirit, right? We celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit to all people on that day, and we will hear about that in our readings on Sunday. And in our psalm for Sunday, uh, it talks about the way that the Spirit works in us. And I was so excited because as I was reading Psalm 104 in preparation for Sunday, a song immediately came to my mind. And then I was super excited when yesterday, as I was thinking about it and like, oh, I need to find that song, I typed in the song quick and up it popped. And I had the chords and I could play it and I was so excited. And then I practiced it a little bit last night and this morning. And then when I went to look up the psalm again to put everything together, I realized that I, the song I had found, is a song about the spirit, but not the one that I had been thinking about a couple of days ago, because the song I had did not match Psalm 104. So, funny little story about that. So you will get to wait until Sunday to hear Psalm 104, uh, or you can read it on your own, obviously. Um, but today, instead, I did find scripture that matched the song that I was able to locate uh, as we think about the Spirit and the way that the Spirit moves in us. Um, as we talked about in that intergenerational Sunday school, and as we've been talking about in confirmation, as we've been talking about the creeds, um, it is the Spirit that does so much of the work of God in our lives. And so we celebrate that this weekend, that the Spirit is continues to be active in our world. Um, uh, another song that I'm not singing for you today by artist Peter Mayer says, God is loose in the world. And I think about that with the Spirit, that the Spirit is moving all over the world. And we celebrate that uh, all the time, but especially on Pentecost Sunday. And so as we think about what that means for us, that the Spirit is working and moving in the world, here are some encouraging words from Ephesians chapter 5. Be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That spirit fills us not only to sing songs and give thanks to God, but that spirit fills us with hope, with joy, with peace, with energy and enthusiasm to go out and make a difference in the world. And so we call for that Holy Spirit to come to us. We know that we have been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the Holy Spirit forever. Um, but we still call for that spirit to come to us, to move in us, to shape us into the people that God would have us be. And so that is where this particular Holy Spirit song takes us. Oh, 
Words are really easy. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. As we once again celebrate Pentecost this Sunday, that coming of the Spirit, not just to Jesus or just to his disciples, but to all people. Um, I pray that this Spirit is falling fresh on you, um, that you are noticing the ways that God is shaping you and molding you and filling you with the power of the Holy Spirit invite you to join us for worship on Sunday to see what the Windsocks are all about um, and to celebrate this great festival of the church. We give thanks for the Holy Spirit in us and among us and trust that you remember that God loves you and so do I. Have a great weekend everyone. Invite you to worship here with us at All Saints 9 30 on Sunday and on Facebook and posted to YouTube as quickly as we can after that, hopefully around 11. So see you then or see you soon. Take care, everybody.